Hey guys, your boy the Minus, and today is the day that early access for FIFA 16 has dropped. Now I'm giving you this video right now. Yes, and this video is going to be all of the best youngsters with high potentials that you can buy in the game. Now right now, so FIFA and Ultra FIFA, all those haven't really dropped yet. So all I have to go off of is uh, what EA has dropped as the high, highest potential players under 21 on their blog. I'll leave a link to that down below, but we're gonna go ahead and test out these guys' potential. Now, everyone on this list is gonna be rated under 80, but is gonna grow over 80, and is gonna be under the value of 10 mil at least to start off, and it's under the age of 21. And there are some absolute bargains, some absolute hidden gems in here. Now I'm going to go through them really quickly. I'm not going to say where they're all from. That All that information is going to be on the link that I post in the description down below. But I'm just going to go really quick, show you their overall rating, their age, and how much they are worth. Alright, so starting off with the goalkeepers is the 19-year-old 70-rated Andre Morea is only worth 2 mil to start off. Remember, never inquire about this guy. Just go ahead and put in a cheeky offer of about 2, 2.5 mil and you might be able to grab him up. Next up, we have this man right here, Kappa Orizabalgar Lalaga. <laughs> Forever. Oh, that is a tough, that is a tough name, but I'm going to call him Orizzi. And there you go, 74 rated goalkeeper. He's a little bit more expensive at the age of 21. His value is 4.2 to start himself off, but uh, he has a very, very high potential. All three of these keepers, I believe, get over, uh, or at least 85 potential or higher, and that brings us to the last guy. And if I thought the, the other guy was hard to pronounce, this guy is uh, Bart Dragon Whiskey. Dragwool Whiskey, whatever his name is, 71 rated goalkeeper, 18 years old and his value is at 2.1 million now we're gonna move on there wasn't a lot of right backs that have very high potential guys so the only one that i could really find is fabinho i know for a fact that he plays for as monaco and he's pretty pricey guys uh he starts out at 78 78 is already at the age of 21 and he of course plays the right back if we go ahead and take a look at that doesn't have any speciality traits but he's very very tall and can play the cdm role as well Moving on, we're going to go into the center backs, and there are plenty of good young center backs. A lot of you guys probably already know the big names in the EPL, so I skipped on, you know, the John Stones and the Kurt Zumas to bring you more lesser known players, like this man right here, Alessio Romagnoli. He plays for AC Milan, as you can see right here, 75 rated overall center back at the age of 20 and is worth around 5 mil. Next up, another good find, 75 rated overall gyro. Rodewald, and he is a center back that is uh, worth 75 but can get to almost the same potential as Romanoli but is a little bit cheaper as you can see right here about a mil cheaper and is 18 years old. Next up is another 75 rated overall player and that is Tin Yedvaj and he's a center back 19 years old and is worth 4 mil at the start right here. Another center back right here Jesus Vallejo is starts out at a 74 is 18 years old and is rated 3.2. Let's go ahead, go down, and this guy's the lowest rated, guys. Check out this man, Jerome Jr. Onaguni, or whatever his name is, is 17 years old, and starts out at a 58, but he freaking grows to an 80. That is insane, guys. This is the cheap, cheapy, cheap, cheap buy that you're going to get this year, because look at his value. It's 200k. <laughs> 200 freaking k, so if you're doing that road to glory type stuff, this is your type of player that you're going to be buying. Alright guys, right here in the left back position, we have Jethro Williams, who starts out at a 78, is 21 years old, and is at the value of 7.5 million. Very, very pacey, as you can see. Next up, we have Baba from Chelsea, who is 78 as well, and is worth 7.5 mil, is age 21, and can play the left back. Also pretty pacey. He's pretty much an analog for Jethro Williams. And last but not least, Luke Shaw, get well, son. Uh, unfortunately, you will not be playing anymore in the regular season this year, but we'll be able to play with you in FIFA 16, and hopefully you go ahead and heal that leg, and he is one of the highest potential player youngsters in the game, period. So hopefully he recovers well, you can go ahead and grab him. 77 rated overall left back, whose value is 7.5 million 20 years old. All right, moving on to the CDMs. There weren't too many great CDMs with high potential, but these are the ones that I could find. This is Danilo, a different Danilo. Uh, he does not play, he's not the one on Real Madrid, 
He is 78 rated, overall is only 19 years old, and, and has a value of 7.5 million. The next guy up, a lot of you guys already know this man, Ruben Nevis has moved back to a CDM role, starts out at a 74, and is only worth a meager 3.2 mil, and is 18 years old, CDM, and look at those very, very well-rounded stats in the technicals. Moving on to the right midsection, we have Victor over here. I believe he used to play for Santos, but now the 18-year-old right mid is 73, starts out at a 73, and is worth 3.3 million. We're moving down right here. Uh, Francis Camano right here, 71 rated, and is only worth uh, 2.4 million to start out with 19 year old right mid uh, now moving on to the center mid section Lucas Moreno starts out at a 74 can play the center mid position and he has a value of 4.1 million 21 years old and look at those stats very very well balanced in the physicals and then we're gonna move on to this man Mateo Kovacic uh, a lot of you guys already know about him a little bit more pricey since he is already at a 78 and is at Real Madrid in real life and it's gonna be worth nine mil pricey pricey next up Ricardi Bowser or as I like to call him the big bad Bowser starts out at a 75 18 years old and is worth about five million but very very good stats in those physicals guys and of course the big name and the highest rated potential player of an under 21 year old is this man right here you guys probably already know him Yuri TL is man uh, need I say more 7.5 to go ahead and grab yourself the highest rated under 21 year old in the game. Moving on, we have this man right here. Uh, Medran Alvaro is 72, play the CM position and is 21 years old and is worth 2.3 mil. Now we're moving on to the left mid positions or winger positions, however you want to say it. But this guy's a little bit slow to be a winger, so probably he is going to be more of a left mid er right here. Starts out at 74, Danny Cabellos. I believe the left mid is 19 years old and is worth 4.2 million. Next up is one of the biggest growers on this list, and that is Gonzalo Guedes. I'm not totally sure how you pronounce this last name. I'm terrible at pronouncing things, but he's 70 overall and can grow to, I believe, a potential of like 87, 86. Left mid is 18 years old and a steal that you can get at an under 2 mil. All right, next up, a lot of you guys already know, we're moving on to the cans, and it is the... CP Sporting man himself, Ryan Gauld right here, 73 rated cam at 19 years old and is worth 3.7 mil and uh, his pace and his balance and his acceleration and agility are just angelic. And of course, it is Real Madrid so we're going to go ahead and profile Mr. Young Martin Odegaard right here, we'll see how he grows. Next up is a man right here, Zachary. Uh, Buzidi, I believe he plays for West Brom and starts out at a 61 but grows really really high I believe all the way up to an 81 and you can go ahead and grab him for peanuts with a value of uh, of only 325,000 sterling. Next up is Manu Garcia right here I believe he plays for Man City and he starts out at a 61 another youngster that starts out really really low but you can buy him for a cheap price and he will grow and grow and grow. So there you guys go, Manu Garcia. Probably the most popular player that everyone will be demanding to see in Karimo this year is the young AC Milan super talent, Hachim Mastor. You can see that he starts out at a 67, is valued at 1 million, can play the cam position, and is 17 years old. Next up is Sifone Buffal, or Sifone Buffal. He plays in the French League for, um, Lily, I believe, and just look at these amazing stats for a 21 year old is already rated at 78, but amazing, amazing, amazing speed, balance, acceleration, and agility with ball control and dribbling. He just looks absolutely delightful, and he is worth a uh, pretty expensive at 8.5 mil to start off. Now we're moving on to the right wingers, as you can see right here, Nikolai Larson is only worth half a mil and starts at a 63. Remember, all these guys will end up to grow past 80 so this guy is another one of those hidden gems a big grower um more than a shower right now next up is this guy Yuri Medeiros man I'm butchering these names but the 21 year old is a right winger is 73 great at all I believe a lot of these guys play in the Riverdale seat so they're either on like PSV or Ajax or one of them 
but a look at him only f uh, worth under four mil to start off with and we're moving on to the strikers now and a lot of you guys already know this man very very popular in FIFA 15 real Donald and Bolo continues on right here with amazing stats starting out at a 76 this year this uh, 18 years old and is worth six mil quite worth it as you can see his sprint speed acceleration agility all those physicals already in the mid to dark greens along with a uh, ball control and 82 and 77 in dribbling and a 76 in finishing he is almost a finished product right out of the bag and for six mil it's a good deal that's a good deal next up is the big money man from manchester united is rated 77 overall anthony Martial is a striker 19 years old with a little bit more than donald brion ball that is very interesting as you can see right here, sprint speed and acceleration are his high points with a very nice dribbling. Actually, higher finishing and I believe higher ball control. No, actually, uh, right there, Donald Brion Bolo actually has higher ball control, but Anthony Martial has higher finishing. Actually, pretty, they seem like pretty similar players. And from one Manchester striker to another, Kalichi Inaccio. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but uh, one of the biggest steals if you can grab him in career mode this year as he starts out at a 67 i believe can grow into something outrageous like 85 potential 18 years old striker and is only worth one mil and already has a strength speed of 85 and acceleration of 86 and his finishing isn't bad at 70. let me go ahead and take a look at him right here he already has the finesse shot and flare trait and is 510 and last up in the strikers is another good cheap buy right here. Antonio Sanabria right here is only worth around 2 mil to start off with. Starts out at a 71 for the 19 year old but can grow uh, vastly I believe all the way up to like an 86, 87 right there. So if you guys want some good budget buys go ahead and look at these two. And we're going to finish up with the left wingers and this guy I think is going to be the new Zachary Bacali if you guys can remember from two FIFAs ago. But uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. V Vaclav Cerny, I'm guessing is his name. But he starts out at a 66 is worth under 1 mil. And for a 17 year old, look at these stats. Very, very high speed, agility, and acceleration with excellent ball control and dribbling and curve for someone of his age. And he's going to grow astronomically, I believe. One of the biggest growers in the game, uh, I believe up to an 87 or an 86. And last is Steven Bergwin, or however you pronounce his name, uh, his last name, but another another really, really low-rated player that you can buy and will grow astronomically, and he has great physical stats to start off as you can go see right there with decent dribbling and decent shot power, and he's a left winger, 66, worth under 1 mil and 17 years old. Take a look at him really quickly, and has star skill moves and four star weak foot so yeah guys these are some of the highest potential youngsters that you can buy in fifa 16 career mode to start off with now let's go ahead and put them through the ringer let's go ahead and advance it a couple years and see how much they grow all right guys so we have simmed ahead five seasons we're in 2020 and let's go ahead and take a look and see how these youngsters grew with the keepers we are starting out with keppa zibababagalaga and he was our top keeper growing all the way to a 78 at the age of 25. And as you can see, very nice reflexes right there at 87. But Andrea Morea did pretty snazzy as well, growing all the way to a 78 as well. Not as good reflexes, but, you know, very good overall. Unfortunately for Bart Dragon Wildski or whatever his name is, he only grew to a 73. But he's only 22. If you compare it to the other two, they're in the 25s and 24s. Keepers tend to grow... A little bit later at least that's what happened in FIFA 15 and seems to be going the same way in uh, this FIFA as well at right back is Fabinho he's our highest rated player that we brought on and previewed early on and he grew to an 87 massive He's at the age of 26 and is worth 27 million now and as you can see right here physical is very good all around unfortunately his sprint speed which could be a little bit faster for right back but oh my goody goodness look at these technicals dark greens all across the board 95 stand tackle 91 slide tackle just astronomical 94 uh, short passing and 98 man marking maybe he doesn't even need that speed because he's just gonna be glued on to whoever's on that left wing anyway moving on to our center backs our center backs did very very well i must say almost all of them 
made it to to the 83 84 range we're starting off with Romagnoli the AC Milan man not the greatest pace but as you can see already a very good stand tackle slide tackling marking very very solid very very solid uh Jesus Vallejo also very solid grew to an 84 uh 83 uh, 90 sand tackling, 84 uh, slide tackling, really, really good in all the defensive stats, and a little bit faster than Ro Magnoli. Ron was already on the team. I left him on the team. His starting price, if you want to know, is uh, 17.5 million. So he comes at a pretty, pretty penny, and he grows all the way to an 87. So he's worth that money if you have a higher end team. And this was our cheapy, cheapy buy right here on a Gooley. And here's the thing about him. EA done fucked it up again. I'm I pardon part of my French, but the thing about him is he grew a respectable amount. I think he started out at like 61 or 50 something and grew to a 72, which is very good. But look at the stamina. They messed up the stamina again, especially with these really young, low-rated players. Their stamina does not grow. I didn't do the training, guys. I didn't there is a training thing where you can affect stamina. But uh, semi through, I you can do a training session every single week. I didn't do that. I only did it like once or twice this whole entire time. So maybe that helps it out. But if you're just going forward and you're not doing those things, the salmon doesn't grow for these youngsters again. All right, we're gonna keep on going on. And Gyro Ridewall right here probably did the best out of all us with the the most amount of growth, I believe. Uh, grew to an 84 and he's very very good pace and acceleration for a center back as well as having a very very uh, good stance in the defensive areas. Tinyad Vag probably did the least hottest out of the bunch right here but still very respectable still usable almost to an 80. All right moving on to the left backs we got Jethro Williams here is just an absolute monster just dark greens all over just one of these left backs and that between him and Fabinho uh, our left backs and our right backs actually did really well. Luke Shaw, unfortunately, I messed up a little bit. Uh, he is no longer on the team because I didn't fill out his <laughs> contract all the way, but he grew to an 83, if you guys want to know, and is still growing, still very young. Baba right here from Chelsea grew to an 80 and 97 sprint speed. That's all I got to say right there. Not bad, not bad, not too shabby right here. We're going to move on to the CDM position. Uh, Danilo. Right here, grew to an 81. Not the fastest, but very, very respectable. Very good all round dark to mid greens all the way around. That's what you want to see out of CDM. And Neves did pretty well as uh, as well. He pretty much, I mean, him and Danilo, pretty much the same player. Grew to an 80. Not bad, not bad. We're going to move on to the right mids. Come on, right here. And this is the thing that I'm talking about. He's got good physical stats, but he's only 62 stamina. Like, you can't use him for more. He grew to a 79, and that's respectable, but... Mm, uh, just ruined it. Fortunately, Victor Adraj, or however you say his name, Victor Androgynous, or whatever, at least he has 75 stamina, and uh, very, very fast. 94 pace, 91 acceleration, 92 agility, and 90 balance. Now, uh, you know, pace isn't as, you know, powerful as it used to be in previous ones, but can't hurt, can't hurt. And now in the CM position, we got Riccardi Bowser, as I like to call him, the Big Bad Bowser. And look at that, one of the most well-rounded, you know, just, just can do it all, 78 sprint speed, but that's not everything, you know, especially if you're in the midfield. What you want to look at is that 90 short passing, that 90 long passing, the dribbling, the ball control, and the crossing, and he can put in a tackle right there with decent man marking, slide tacking, and curve. He can pretty much do it all. You, know, you can play him in the CM, but you can probably play him in the CDM. Let's go ahead and take a look. No, I can only play him in the CM. Hmm, I could do more with him. But he's got the stats to go ahead and play in that CDM with the 81 stand tackle. Let's take a look at probably the, the highest rated, well, he has the highest potential out of anybody on this list. Uh, Yuri Tielsman, a lot of you guys already know him. Sprint speed, yeah, it's okay, but once again, you don't really need that that much in this game. What you gotta look at is dark greens and short passing and free kick accuracy and dribbling ball control, long shots, long passing curve. He's got it all, ladies and gentlemen. You can't go wrong with your Tielsman. But another one of our CMs, actually, all our CMs, you know, grew to 84. So Lucas Romero might be the best of the bunch because he's actually the paciest out of the whole bunch and look at that short he has the best short passing out of the bunch 97 freaking short passing you know 89 long passing 84 dribbling and 90 ball control just greens every freaking where and he's got 93 stamina which i believe is the highest stamina out of the bunch and i think he was the cheapest to begin with so maybe get lucas romero 
uh, might be the best CM purchase that you can get right here. Kovacic, very surprising to me because he was the most expensive going in and he was already on the team. I thought he was going to grow a little bit higher. But, you know, not bad. He's the paciest out of the bunch right there. And he's got very good short passing and good stats. But for your money, I might go Lucas Romero out of the bunch. All right, moving on to left mids. We got Danny Cabellos right here. Grew to a respectable 82. But once again, EA done fucked up. 60 stamina. 60 freaking stamina, man. Just, ah, uh, just a player just ruined. And then we go Gonzalo Guedes. Grew a lot. Grew to an 83. And I believe he was, what, like at 70, 70 something? And look at this ball control at 94. Uh, amazing, nice sprint speed and acceleration, but 69 stamina. Not terrible, but not good. You know, just keeping him, keeping him from being one of the truly great left mids in the game. Stefani Buffal right here, very, very nice. Probably my top pick for Cam if you're gonna buy a Cam and you got the Zamulas to go ahead and get someone a little bit more expensive. Uh, as you can see, 92 sprint speed, 92 dribbling, great ball control, great short passing. Very, very deadly in small spaces. Stefani Buffal. Hachimba Store didn't grow to, you know, that high, but he's only 21, and I predicted this because he grew uh, very, very late in the previous FIFA. He didn't start growing really well until he was probably, in, you know, his 26, 27, you know, around that age is when he started to peak. So, not bad. 76 is not bad for uh, a 21 year old, but once again, that stamina done fucked him, man. 52. 52. Terrible. Alright, Ryan Gall, the Scottish Messi. <laughs> I think some people refer to him. Very decent. Uh, decent stamina at the 72. Excellent ball control. Dribbling. Very, very good for a cam right there. Keep it on. Moving on. And uh, Zachary Bazula Zeddy. Uh, El, El Buzetti, right here, the West Brom man, only grew to, grew to a 74, but remember, he was very young as well, and his max potential is, I believe, 81, so not too bad right here, and he's got very respectable stats. As you can see right there, good dark greens and ball control dribbling and short, uh, and shot power and decent short passing with decent pace. Alright, Manu Garcia, the Man City man, only grew to a 75, and his stamina is crap, so another guy ruined by that stamina. Speaking of people ruined by their stamina and not actually doing all the well, Martin Odegaard. <laughs> uh, maybe he's not rated. I, I guess they overrated him a little bit in the last FIFA and they've toned him down a bit. But he does not look like a good purchase in career mode as of now. Alright, Yuri um, Mendiros right here, the right wing, grew to a 79. Only 65 stamina, good physicals, I mean, te good technicals as well, but. Uh, just just mediocre, just mediocre. Uh, Larson only grew to a 77 and talk about butchered by the stamina. 46 stamina. Ugh. 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 Alright, let's cheer up a little. Let's cheer up a little. Let's go into the strikers. These strikers were very, very interesting. The first one we're going off with is Anthony Martial. The Manchester United man grows to a blistering 98 pace. Oh my goodness. I know that pace is downgraded. I played a couple of games and pace... Pace doesn't matter as much, but if you're 98 pace, that has to matter something. Oh my goodness. And he doesn't have crap stamina, 72 stamina, and decent, decent strength, 79 strength with excellent dribbling, with 86 dribbling, and 86 ball control, and 85 finishing, with decent passing and header accuracy as well. And I think the big thing about him is that he's got that pace with that strength. And I think strength is going to be very, very key this year because it's, it's, it's going to be the probably the best way to, to barge or tank your way past defenders is just to have them bump off of you. And that seems to be the most effective way to get past defenders. So strength and pace, I think, is going to be... Strength may be more important than pace this year is going to be the key determining factor on uh, strikers. Let's go ahead and take a look at him right here. He got the speedster, dribbler, and acrobat. None of the traits, but he's got four star weak foot, three star skill moves, and his 5'11 high medium morph rates, and his right footed. Now we're gonna go down to this man right here, probably the most impressive player that I'm gonna showcase, and probably my pick for best young striker under 21. Uh, look at him 90 sprint speed, 80, 86 acceleration, 85 agility, and here's the thing. 85 stamina, amazing stamina, great reactions, and here's the biggest thing, 87 strength. He is going to be an absolute tank. He's going to be unstoppable when he has the ball on him. It's going to be really hard. It's going to be a tough time. It's going to be a tough time to get the ball off him. 
Unfortunately, only 83 finishing. Short passing and shot power is nice and all, and ball control and dribbling pretty nice, but would have liked his finishing a little bit higher, but with that, with that strength, and we can go ahead and take a look right here. He's got the strength speciality, so he's going to be tanking his way through. He's going to be a goddamn Abram, just plummeting uh, through center backs. Finesse shot and flare. Uh, four star skill moves very very deadly very very deadly probably yeah he's probably gonna go get him <laughs> just go get him below again but our other two remember our other two cheap strikers did pretty well as well Antonio Santabria right here grew all the way to an 81 unfortunately stamina at a 66 but I mean look at that finishing 88 finishing both better uh, then Donald Briambella and Anthony Marshall and 97 ball control 87 dribbling very very nice with decent pace and acceleration so not bad but probably can only use him as a super sub and Kalechi and Inaccio right here grew to an 82 remember he was only worth 1 mil and now is worth 19 mil you can buy him turn pretty pretty profit it's got 69 stamina not terrible not good but not terrible and a uh, very good pace 90 for uh, acceleration and look at that 90 finishing with 89 ball control and 89 dribbling very very nice very very sneaky buy probably you know like the best cheap buy that you can get in the game for striker i'm gonna move finish it off with left wingers right here and as you can see right here steven burge win good physicals decent you know st uh, technicals but 55 stamina 55 stamina kills a man we're going to end it off with this man, who I thought was going to be really impressive. Remember how cheap he was and how high his potential was? The Clav Cerny murdered. He really is the new Zachary Bacali, because this is what Bacali was. Like, really good pace, really good ball control and dribbling and all this good stuff. And, and crap stamina. Look at his 39 stamina. You could use him for maybe a, a third of a half. Ugh. Ugh. But anyway, guys, this is the highest potential under 21s that you can buy for the relatively cheap. Everyone here, remember, was under 10 mil. And that is it for me, B-. Go ahead, if you did enjoy, this was a good amount of work, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you'd like to receive, you know, more hidden gems throughout the year, remember, they're going to be updating the rosters almost every single week. And I'm going to go ahead and be releasing... A weekly show that will be profiling new hidden gems in FIFA 16 career mode. So if you want more of that, go ahead and smash that like button. And uh, yeah, that is it for me. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, remember to stay yourself, stay humble, and be